the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. God is good. All the time. This is the day that the Lord has made for us. For us to have in our presence the Apostolic Nuncio to Cyprus. So let us give a round of applause. We are very happy to have his presence here with us this morning to celebrate the Eucharist with us here. Let us all renew our love, our devotion to the Blessed Mother and really reflect the Blessed Mother whom we will also meditate in the readings of today as I explain, who gives us an example of what it is to do what Christ commands us. So with all that has been read by the parish priest as the intentions for the Mass, you can include what is in your heart that you pray for. But especially, also, we all, as I always remember at Mass, to pray for those who are sick, for those who have been afflicted by this pandemic, and those who are healthy, that they may not fall victim to this. So, as one people of God, we will offer the sacrifice of the Mass for the intentions that have been read and for those that you have not mentioned but is within your heart. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and put a question to him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Listen, Israel. The Lord our God is the one Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this You must love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well spoken, Master. What you have said is true, that he is the one and there is no other. To love with all your heart, with all your understanding and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, this is far more important than any holocaust or sacrifice. Jesus, seeing how wisely he had spoken, said, You are not far away from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to question him anymore. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel of today, with the words that Christ answered the scribe, summarizes the whole of our Christian faith. In fact, the whole catechism can be found in the words of our Lord. When he responded to the scribe, not because what the scribe was trying to put him into a trap, but wanted to ask him very sincerely. And he says, uh, which is the first of all commandments? Which is the most important? In our Lord answered, this is the first. Listen, Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord, and so on. In the tradition of the Hebrew people, even the Jews, they call it still the Shema, which means listen, hear, pay attention, do not be distracted. That's why they recite from the tradition of Moses, they recite this from morning and in the evening before the sleep. Listen, keep in mind. Do not forget Shema. And this is what our Lord is saying. This, because it begins the commandments, he begins with this. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. For all of us, for the whole world, as he says, and therefore the cross reminds us to love our neighbor as ourselves. And why the Blessed Mother? 
It's precisely because our Blessed Mother gave us the example of that commandment of love which our Lord Himself gave. When the angel announced to her, your cousin, now is the third month, immediately she went out and walked. There were no cars, there were no players. She walked to visit and minister and help her cousin Elizabeth. And then we say, but Father, what can we do really to love our neighbor? The church is giving us the spiritual, corporal works of mercy. Now we pray for the dead, we pray for the sick, we try to visit them if we can, especially during the pandemic, but we show our concern. Our love of God will never be proven really, as St. James is saying, unless it flows into our love towards others, our neighbor. But remember, you say neighbor are not friends only. Neighbors are not the ones only in the house. Just remember the parable of the Good Samaritan. That is the neighbor. So let us pray in the Eucharist as we celebrate together with the members of the Legion of Mary on their anniversary that we may look up at our Mother, the Blessed Mother, and really follow the example that she gave to each one of us. May the cross we bring in, our, on, in front of our breast, may the image, the medal of our Blessed Mother we carry in our heart be a constant reminder of what our Lord has repeated in the Gospel of today. Listen, remember, do not forget. Keep in mind, the Lord, our God, is the one Lord. And because He is, we love Him with all our life. And because we love Him with all our life, we love our neighbor as ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Father, 
in the quality of chargé d'affaires. Just like what I was before. I was also in Taiwan for two years and a half. The same with me. I was the one who was representing the Pope. In the same way now, Monsignor George is doing that here, not only for the visit of the Holy Father, but also after he will be, until we are able to, you know, build the real notion which we hope will happen, of course, with the blessing of God and the goodness of the people around here. Okay. Amen. So now I give you the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and may you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.